Welcome to the Yukon and North 61. Pulled home the ride of shame, how to solve it. Hey, I'm uh, replacing my battery, which uh, has just uh, crapped out on me. And funny thing about these four strokes is that once the battery goes, they no longer work properly. So it was giving me all sorts of headaches and stopping and surging and I didn't think it was very good for it. So it took the ride of shame. So I'm gonna use two batteries. Of course, the original battery here, Yukon Yamaha or Yukon Honda rather, won't have in until February. And it's December 7th today. The funny thing about the Yukon is it's gone down to uh, minus 40 on the weekend and now it's at uh, a pretty good temperature so anyway I bought a Canadian tire battery that's supposed to be equivalent they had 25 of them so you know come on you gone how to get your act together you just lost the sale so taking this battery out and uh, come on up and see what I'm doing here right? Okay, so the battery fits in this little place, sort of under the seat. This little plastic thing. Don't go too easy on it, just rip that right off there. And then you gotta take this battery out, and it's a pain in the butt, but uh, it's got a little hanger in here. And hopefully the new one will fit right in there. I'll come back when we're closer. Anyway, it's an equivalent battery. It's just slightly less. Cold cranking apps at minus 18 is 310. Now I'm gonna put this one in. And uh, it'll fit in there. And then I'm gonna put another battery just like this one, because I bought two. And I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna put it in my friend's shop, my friend's uh, bona fide uh, tradesman, where I'm just a fake. <laughs> I usually break half the stuff that I try to fix. So we're gonna run it in parallel with the other battery with Anderson connectors, six gauge wire and some battery connectors. And basically what we're gonna try to do is create the conditions where now we'll have the same voltage because we're running them in parallel, but we'll have far more capacity. So 18 and 18 is I've got 36 instead of 18 and uh, plus I should have more my understanding is I should have more uh, amps to start especially when it's cold out and I'm going to put the other battery in a box I'll make a little plywood box for it I'll have it open on the bottom so it gets heat because there's heat here from the exchanger heat exchanger this container stays this this stays warm in here I used to have a lot of survival gear in there. I'm taking all of that stuff out of there, keeping it in here. And I'm gonna keep stuff like water and lunch and that kind of stuff in here. Cause it actually stays quite warm in there. So that battery will stay warm. And the Anderson connectors are quick, connect, quick detached. So I'll be able to take the other battery out, put it into the cabin, bring it back, attach it, and I'll have a warm battery. So I think this is gonna be the cat's pajamas. But this is always a little tricky doing this sort of stuff it doesn't really want to so I'll come back when I got it done so these are a little bit not quite enough room so I'm adapting this a bit hopefully that's all that it needs oh I had to take those little guys out now it fits in there perfectly uh, we'll see it's a bit of a bugger One of the uh, unfun parts of this is this is really hard to get in here. It's really, really cramped. Um, but when you put this thing on, 
you lose your plus sign. So I just put that on with a Sharpie, a plus and a minus, just so I don't get mixed up. And let's see what happens. All right. It's totally normal. So now in parallel. Good job. I'll have to cut a hole in these plates so that the wires can come through and then the battery will probably sit here. Let's just check it out. So let's see if that new battery will fit in up. It will. So I just have to figure out a place to put it. It could be right behind even. No, because of this thing has to go behind that. It can't really go on the side unless it goes right there. Even there it won't work. So it's only going to work right there. Okay. Only at a very single spot is it going to work right there. Which is a bit of waste space. But it fits right in between here. Wire will come out, wire will come out. I'll make a little box for it to fit in there. That's removable with maybe a wing nut. And uh, the connectors will be right there. And I'll have enough room for water bottle and my lunch. And uh, maybe a few tools here. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah, so. And if need be, there's another bison hunt on the go this weekend. I can go on it, and uh, but I'll try to get that set up in parallel by Friday. So we'll see if I can find all the stuff here in town.